Number 34. A man consumes 3,000 kilocalories of food in one day, converting most of it to maintain body temperature. If he loses half this energy by evaporating water through breathing and sweating, how many kilograms of water evaporate? All right. So uh, basically they're saying uh, half of this energy, he loses uh, half of this energy by evaporating water. All right. So half of 3,000 uh, 3, is going to be 1,500, right? So 1,500 kilojoule, uh, excuse me, kilocalories is, uh, is lost through evaporating water. Okay. First, let's convert this into, we don't really like to work with kilocalories. Let's convert that into maybe kilojoules. So one kilocalorie is equivalent to 4.184 kilojoules. Okay, so just simply multiply that value by about four. So we got 1,500 times then 4.184, and this is about 6,276. So 6,276 kilojoules. So this is the amount of heat energy that will be utilized to evaporate uh, water. Now, we're talking about a about evaporation, so we're going to use this formula up here on the top, right? That's the heat transfer formula that involves uh, changes of phase, all right? So we're saying that the heat necessary to change phase of an object will be equal to the mass of that object changing phase multiplied by the latent heat of fusion or vaporization, depending upon if you're talking about from solid to liquid or liquid to solid, or from liquid to gas and gas to liquid. In this case, we're talking about evaporating water, so therefore we're talking about going from a liquid to a gas, and that would then be the latent heat of vaporization that we need of water, okay? The table in the book gives it to us in kilojoules, so that's fine, and we found this in kilojoules, so we can basically then, since the units are consistent, we can then just plug them both in and then solve for the mass, and that will get spit out as kilogram, as you can see the unit in the latent heat uh, value. So it's just going to be six, seven, uh, excuse me, 6,276 will equal the mass multiplied then by the 2,256, divide out the 2,000 across, and what do we get? So 2,256, we get a value of about 2.78. So 2.78 uh, kilograms, all right, that's a lot of water. 2.78 kilograms, kilograms of water uh, would be evaporated with that amount of heat energy. So two and a, you know, about two and three quarter kilograms uh, works out to be about exactly almost six pounds. So that's, uh, that's quite a bit of water. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.